for lesson four, you're in Code Studio in Code.org, and we're here, and it's called lesson eight. It's our lesson four. We're going to skip bubble seven. It's talking about doing sampling on a shade of color. We're going to go to just go ahead and go to bubble eight, and we're going to do a little bit different kind of assignment, one that I think you'll find more fun. You get to create your own picture. Hopefully, you've had a chance to look at the slides earlier um, that showed you some pictures that other students have done, and now it's going to be your turn. So we're here in bubble eight, and the first thing you want to do is set your image width. So I'm going to suggest maybe you want to do a 15 by 15. I'm just going to change these numbers here, and you can see I have a grid. You can do a little bit bigger if you like. You can do a little bit smaller if you want to. It's really going to be kind of up to you because it's going to be your picture. Another thing I recommend is that you change the bits per pixel to 12, and I'm going to explain why in just a minute. If we look over here at the far right corner where it says pixel format. I've got four reds, four greens, and four blues. And that's a lot of work if I'm staying in binary mode, but I'm going to click on hexadecimal. This is a shortcut for binary, and you don't really have to understand everything that's going on, but what it does is replaces four ones and zeros with a single number or letter. So we can see that 15 is 0F and 12 is 0C, and we don't have to worry about that. It's, the computer is going to do the work for us. Now, another thing I recommend is to go ahead and fill your background color with some color and set every square to be that color. And I'm going to show you why in just a minute. So white happens to be FFF. So I'm going to type in an FFF. See how one square turned white? If I wanted it all to be black, I could just do 0, 0, 0. Okay. But I'm going to have all of mine be white. You could pick any color. So I'm going to type a whole bunch of Fs and see the squares fill in as I type. When I get to the last one, okay, I'm going to click on this button that says Readable Format. Now you can see every single pixel is three Fs. And there's a space in between, and that's going to help me know which pixels to turn when I want to set some color. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to paste lots of rows. And you can see as I do this, my whole image is getting filled with white square. So that saves me a lot of time. Then I clicked on readable format again, and now I see the whole grid. Now this is really helpful because if I want to change, let's say, this particular square right here, then I know that it's this one right here. And if I change it to 000, zero, zero I change it to black. So when you set up a grid like this, it helps you know exactly where you might want to change the color to set something else. And then if I wanted to just keep going with black, I could do the next ones. Now you might say, well, how do I know which colors? You might know FFF is white and 000 is black. What about the other colors? Well, I've got a, a link for you that will take you to the different colors. Now, if you click on the link in the document, in your assignment document, it should take you right here to this table. And you see that here's the codes for the different colors. So if I want, let's say I want this shade of yellow right here, well, the code is FF0. So I can go to my picture here, and if I want this particular one to be yellow, I'll just do FF0. Now I've got a yellow. And if I want, um, let's say that I want the color of red, maybe this one, C00. I can pick which pixel do I want to change, and I would just type C00. Okay. So using these tips, filling all of your image with white or whatever background color you have, using the readable format and hexadecimal with bits per pixel at 12, you should be able to fairly easily come up with a picture that you are happy with. And it can be the size that you choose.